Hey, party people, I'd like to welcome you for today's shop with me. We stopped into the Mecca, the Hobby Lobby, and oh my gosh, Christmas is here. It was getting unloaded. This video is going to get a little messy, but I'd like to invite you to this video and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess. This is the Seasonal Storm. I specialize in all things DIY, seasonal decor, and discount finds. Come along with me and subscribe to this journey, and hopefully I can help you guys through the holiday season. Let's get started. Hey everyone, so Christmas is officially out at Hobby Lobby and as you can see, it is 50% off. So this store was just getting unloaded and was a little bit messy, so bear with me here. But first off, on this really fun, very glam display, we have this super cute $30 elf, how sweet is she? And I love these feather trees and all the metallic accents. And even though I didn't want to disrupt the display, I will go into detail on those items a little later in the video when we find them in the aisles. They had a similar concept, but with more of pinks and rose golds rather than purples and gunmetals. So this display was also really pretty. I could see these trees in a fun, shabby chic. Those Noels are so stinking cute. And there's a piece that's not out on this display yet that we're going to see in just a second. The other half of that purple and silver display were all of these mixed metals. And for a glam display, I absolutely love this concept. Now, how beautiful is this piece by Robert Stanley? It's the pink version of the Holy Family, and it's just absolutely incredible. And it's quite large, too. I'd say it's about two feet tall. Next, we have this random aisle, corner aisle. We have got some signs. We have some pine cone scatter. But what caught my eye were these really fun, lightly dusted, very rustic, um, little Christmas houses. These are originally $14.99, but keep in mind, everything is half off. So these actually come to about $7.50. And I love the blue of this truck. Definitely a deviation from the little red truck theme we've seen so much of. The lights on this one were not working, but original price $20 comes down to 10 and it's about the size of my hand, maybe a little larger. Next up, I know a lot of people love Christmas villages, and I personally was drawn to this farm scene village, but also this little rustic winter, winter wonderland piece, and they even had little gingerbread villages, and these all range between the $20 and $30 range, half off, we're looking at 10 to 15. These trees are the most unique bottle brush trees I've ever seen. They're $6 for the smaller size, and I believe they're $9 for the larger size, but look at the unique colors, the unique texture textures, uh, the unique shapes. I mean, these are really well done and you can truly find something to go with anyone's decor. And this is from the My Little Christmas collection. So how sweet would these be in a classroom or a kid's room? Next up on the 50% off Christmas decor section was this extremely packed aisle full of trees. Now, the this first section of trees with the grapevines um, and the pine cones and the dustings of snow, they are $30 and $40 respectively. And of again, half off, but those are very, um, oh, I don't remember the term for it. It's definitely a take on a rustic Christmas, but it's very elevated. Of course, they have their burlap sack trees like they do every year in a variety of sizes and prices. Some have the frosted accents, some do not. So I know not everybody loves a flock tree. Not everyone lives where there is snow. That is okay. There are plenty of options for you. I also like how on this aisle they had the containers to put these in if you don't love the burlap. Um, I love this milk jug. This would be great for year-round decor. Did not have a price on it, so we left it be. But these little Joy uh, tin galvanized buckets... $8 originally, half off, come to about $4, and they have a smaller version, and I believe this one comes out to $3 half off. It does. Super, super cute. Of course, we have our red truck for everyone who's loving that, and this is a good-sized bucket, $10 half off, $5 fair price for sure. It's pretty large, as you can see. And I love how they always have items that are similar in multiple sizes. So if you're trying to do a little scene or escape, you always have matching sets. These Pine Valley, Va Pine Valley Farms boxes were originally $25. Um, again, everything is half off. I love that those are real wood. Um, this is kind of a Scandinavian take on the galvanized trend. And I love how it has that touch of whitewash on it as well. I know a lot of people still love the Buffalo Check, and they have plenty of bucket options for you as well. Now, another thing I love is that they have itty-bitty trees. These are great for villages, and the little burlap at the base definitely adds um, some dimension. They have lots of mini wreaths. Now, I know not everyone uses these as actual wreaths. Most people put a candle in the center, uh, but I've always used them as little mini wreaths. So does anyone else do that? 
I'm loving these light up birch trees. These are absolutely stunning. They have these in multiple sizes throughout the store. And I think that those are great for winter wonderland, even post Christmas headed towards Valentine's Day. I really like to stretch my decor out and I like to change it with the different seasons. Now, this weird little wreath, um, originally $3, half off is $1.50, and we could easily DIY that with Dollar Tree products, so we are definitely not bringing that home. Next up are these absolutely stunning glam trees. I don't decorate in a glam style, but if I did, guys, this would be the aisle for me. I love how there's a variety of silvers and textures, and really it's not just one theme. The large version of this tree was originally $55. They are quite large and heavy, but there is a mini version as well. The glitter shed from these is significant, so definitely be beware of that. Um, their bases also did not seem to be wanting to balance, so that scared me. I did not want that to drop. And the smaller version is 25, and yeah, there's a lot of glitter falling off. This metallic kind of lace embossed tree is absolutely stunning. Again, by Robert Stanley for $50. Half off comes to $25. Mercury glass is a huge trend this year. This one had some little um, elevated detailing on it. I'm flipping it over to show you. This is hollow inside, so this is a very fragile piece. $25. Half off to $12.50, I think. Yeah, that sounds right. We're going to go with that. They also have it in a smaller size coming in at 20. Now, these metallic bottle brush trees, these have really large chunks of glitter all throughout them. They come in multiple sizes. I love this dark gunmetal color. I've not seen this color used often in Christmas decor. And I know a lot of people who decorate in like a dark academia or kind of a more vampy style. This aisle is for y'all. I immediately thought of all my friends with their really beautiful and unique decor. And these pieces you will not see in other stores. Now, these feather trees, I love them. I saw them all throughout the store. I saw them in multiple different colors and sizes. This large size is 25. Again, everything is half off, but that purple is absolutely so regal. This glittery metallic decor to me also would be really fun at like a glitzy New Year's wedding. Um, so keep that in mind, DIYers. These reindeer came in two different sizes at two different price points as well. Um, and I adore this metal sleigh driver. Um, it's $50 half off to $25. I might come back and see if they still have those when things go to 60 and 70% off. Now, these, I feel like that could be a DIY idea for those candle holders. Um, but and something else that's really interesting, these really heavy metal Robert Stanley words. They come in a variety of words and shapes and definitely are a statement piece that I don't think will go out of style anytime soon. And kind of caution people when you're creating Christmas decor for your home. Obviously, a lot of people love to keep up with trends, which is great. But you want to have some staple pieces that you can carry year to year. And these crystal angels, I think, are absolutely that. Um, these metallic stars, these remind me of um, of sea stars. So maybe if you live by the ocean, that would be a really fun one. I live up in the mountains, so it does not really go here. They have more of these jumbo elves, and the large are a $40 elf, and the small, I believe, are a $30 elf. And this was the first one I saw in silver, so I'm wondering if they have these in multiple colors as well. I only saw them predominantly in the purple. Now we have an entire aisle of pillows. Y'all already know the drill. Most Hobby Lobby pillows generally run anywhere from $15 to $45 full price, and these ones were no different. So I'm just going to show you a few of the patterns they had out. Of course, we have our buffalo check. I love this really kind of um, bundled yarn snowflake one. I think that'd be beautiful carrying into the winter. Lots of embroidery this year, and I do love how a lot of these were kept in their plastic packaging for hygiene reasons. So some of them obviously aren't, but some of them still are. Um, these ones are really, really cute and whimsical, and I feel like $10 is a really fair price point for those. Um, again, everything is half off. Keep that in mind. So even if I'm saying a price that does not match the tag, it's because I'm doing the mental math. Now, they had a lot of this joy pillow with the wreath. I think this one is one of those pillows that could last you a lifetime. Absolutely beautiful, um, but clearly they have stocked up. But my my personal favorite um, from the traditional Christmas colors was this Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. This felt a little shabby chic to me, but I feel like this would blend beautifully with my ranch home decor. 
So that one I will I will definitely consider. Um, we have a little touch of glam with the Noel up top. We have a different version of the Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, again, with the embroidery. Just kind of a timeless piece that could last a lifetime. Um, I will caution everyone, sequins from this type of pillow fall off super, super easily. So if you have small kids, dogs, or wear a lot of sweaters, that might not be the pillow for you. Now, these two, I think, were my favorite pillows overall. I love this color scheme. This is how we do our bedroom for Christmas. And the Making Spirits Bright with the cute little um, woodland animals I thought was so sweet. It's a really nice heavy-weighted canvas pillow with just some simple palm detailing on the corners. And again, fully embroidered. Um, $30 originally comes to $15 at half off. That is a very fair price for that pillow. But my personal favorite was this um, kind of clock tower barn very very farmhouse but also very real to the rustic vibes the wreath wall was just getting set up when i was there and so we're going to do a little bit of a deep dive i love how much um greenery and bulk that hobby lobby wreaths have but of course i don't love the prices even at half off i can't imagine spending 75 dollars on a wreath so I like to look at these wreaths to kind of derive inspiration from my own creations. Um, a huge trend this year is neutral. So this wreath originally retailed for 70 or for $70, half off comes to $35. But I think we could DIY it with Dollar Tree products for even cheaper. This one caught me off guard. This is actually a foam wreath. It is $50, so half off to $25. Really whimsical and fun, but I was not ready for the texture on that. That was extremely surprising. The next one is this Frosted Berries. This originally retailed for $90, half off at $45. We know that the Winter Wonderland is a huge trend, but look at those beautiful mercury glass balls. $70 comes out once it's half off to $35. Absolutely stunning. I'm seeing a lot of um, this style. So this one retails for $130, which is feels extremely high for what it is, but I've not seen a lot of the traditional fun Christmas with all the mixed colors, and you guys are going to see in the ornament aisle. I think that trend is coming back big this year, which I think is great for families decorating their trees and putting in their own personal ornaments, but wanting to have a fun mix of colors and textures in their um, traditional just ball ornaments for their filler, and having wreaths to go with that I think is extremely important. Again, for Winter Wonderland, this $60 comes out to $30 beautiful flocked wreath. And look how these interesting garlands. So the garlands generally run anywhere from $12.99 all the way up to $34.99 throughout the store. And again, they are all half off as well. But look at all these fun metallics and textures, a little sprinkling of ornaments. And I got distracted and turned around and saw all these fun plushy snowmen. These are all weighted, which I think is really excellent because um, it's separates them as being decor from toys. Um, and look at all these cute little snowman figurines. I think this would be so fun on a little window shelf display or these houses would be perfect for a little tiered tray. Most of these items were about $10. So half off they come to five and a huge variety of snowmen and snow people. And I love when there's matching items, but with different sayings. So you can get a set of three and they're all a little different from each other. Buffalo check is back and bigger than ever. Lots of different trees, different tree sizes, but they're intermixing the Buffalo check with some more traditional plaids, which I really love this because I feel like Buffalo check um, can be a little bit stark altogether. These denim Christmas trees are really heavy, and I really liked these. They're $15, so they come to about $7.50 each. I was really worried about someone knocking over this super cute little glass tree for $10, um, but you're going to see this aisle is absolutely crazy. They have boxes everywhere because they were literally just getting the truck when I was there. Look at this beautiful shuttered barn, though. Absolutely stunning. How beautiful would this be to hold a nativity scene or special family photos or even some... Uh, LED flickering candles, you know, anything like that would be absolutely stunning that barn and that barn could really be year round decor. Now I will say for mountain living people, I actually like shopping Christmas decor like these types of trees for year round decor, not just Christmas decor, because it really kind of fits the mountain vibe for sure. 
Um, these trees are wood. They are extremely heavy. Um, and I love, again, how there's multiple sizes and price points, and you can kind of tailor to what would work in your house. Now, there are some little matching accents with some glitter, and again, more beautiful mercury glass trees. Absolutely stunning. I am loving that trend. I could never use it in my house because we have animals and kids, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. Now, the hedgehog has been a big deal the last few years. These are definitely decor hedgehogs. The large one is $20 with its cute little leather feet. And then the small one, I believe, was uh, $15. So it comes out to, respectively, $7.50 and $10 each. Speaking of woodland nostalgia, these reindeer are so Scandinavian and cute. Um, I absolutely love both these grapevine deer and that sweater deer. They're a really nice size for a mantle display, um, and I just like to collect pieces that I feel like are heirloom pieces that someday I could pass down. For $80, there was this beautiful galvanized train. For fun fact, my dad actually built trains and worked with trains for my entire life, so I am a huge fan of trains, and I really loved that guy. I don't know where I would put him in my house, though. Lots of really fun neutral decor. I personally don't decorate neutrals, but I could see myself decorating someone's store or their home with this. And look at this stunning advent calendar. Absolutely incredible. I'm going to flip it over so we can see a price. Um, it has It's $50, so half off at $25. Very fair priced and super, super cute. Lots of beautiful black and white decor for sure. I feel like black and white with Christmas can either be done really tastefully or it just comes off looking harsh. This all felt extremely tasteful. I love the subtle little pops of the dark green to accent the black with. Um, and overall, all these little mini signs would be perfect on tier trays. Really nice quality, really heavy weight. Definitely are pieces that even if you change decor in the future, you could continue to incorporate with said decor, which I think is important. Even though trends change, we want to buy things that have longevity. And um, even if we change our our accent color, these are items that we could still put out in the future. Now, this trend I love. Here you will find Santa's magic key. You see our home is without a chimney. So you tell the story about how Santa uses this key to safely let himself into your house. And once it's half off, it comes out to $4. I think that'd be a really cute um, Christmas Eve box item. So keep that in mind, parents of YouTube. Um, and grandparents and guardians in general. I'm loving all this neutral barn decor. Um, I don't decorate in a traditional farmhouse whitewashed type scheme. I call mine more of ranch chic because it's a little dirty and it's a little dusty. And so bringing those neutrals in it definitely matches. Now this whole collection was from this Evergreen Lane collection. And this chenille pillow with the plaid deer was $30, half off to $15, really fair price point. Just a really stunning collection overall. I think this one was one of my favorites and oh my gosh, look at the mess. Okay, look at all of the garlands. I am not going to go in depth on all these. I'm just giving you guys a quick overview as to what they all kind of look like in the general vibe, but there was one out of the box down below that we are going to talk about here in a second. I will say I love this swag. Half off, it's $25. Really stunning to go around an arched window or arched doorway. Now, this is very traditional Christmas with a touch of glam. It originally retails for $80, so half off. It's a door swag for $40. Now, moving into the nativity section, they're still getting their characters out. I love those giant standing wood characters. We see those year after year. And most of this, I would say, is fairly repetitive. Hobby Lobby is obviously known for their nativity decor. I will say though, I appreciate that they have started to add some more diverse representations. I think that's very important nationwide. I also love these really big chunky ornament crosses. And I know a lot of people who like to buy this type of decor as well to decorate religious based homes throughout the year. Um, and I love how many of these nativities feel very child friendly. This is a challenging story to explain to children if you are in a religious household. So having decor that feels accessible and is a talking point and feels inclusive to children, I think is extremely important. I love all these mini ones as well. How cute would any of these be on little tear trays? I absolutely love them. I really love this heavy wood um, nativity for 14 half off at seven but I thought based on the shape wouldn't that be a fun stocking hanger if they made one with the with the hook anyway thoughts for next year 
Um, I'm loving this particular youth nativity. It is $30 half off to $15. I love how it looks like sweater with little patches and stitch work. And I could just see this being so cute on a little dresser or something like that. Speaking of kid-friendly nativities, I'll be showing you guys mine um, later this season. But this plush one I think would be so cute for a nursery or a um, church care classroom and this one is $50 so half off at $25 very reasonable but how sweet are I mean they're so simple but they're just timeless I think that any of these could be passed down for generations um, and this is why I'm highlighting mostly the kid-friendly ones we're used to the adult-friendly ones um, this is actually a play set, which uh, Fisher Price has a great little people play set as well that's a nativity, but that one I thought was really interesting. And then this really beautiful piece is $40, and it reminds me of, um, there's like a book series that used illustrations like that when I was a little kid. I also love these really unique dome lights. I have one very similar from Alaska, and I have another one very similar that's from Israel. And so I think that this is a very unique uh, kind of nativity light centering piece. They have all the blue and neutral nativity scene decor and artwork again, and I believe that this series is beautifully done every year. Um, and a lot of these pieces are repeats, so I'm not really going to go in depth here. Um, but I also love how they had that Christmas felt countdown with the nativity, just like they do with Santa and the elves and all of that. These huge golden bells were absolutely stunning. And then they had this very Ray Dunn feeling joy to the world sign that comes out to about 650. Um, and I thought that one was really interesting. I also love this little mini set of stack books that say, Oh, come let us adore him. Um, that is so, like, I love really unique Christmas sayings and I think that um, some of them get overplayed and so the oh come let us adore him I think is a nice one that we don't see too terribly often. Now moving forward from the nativities I'm seeing a lot of really fun vintage accents and um, I think that that's really great. I love how we're including the car rather than just the truck but moving forward I love again a fun glass tree and this super cute vintage feeling mailbox. I think that'd be so cute to put outside of a door or in the center of a wreath. And look at these fun nutcracker figures. How cute would these be in a kid's room or on a tear tray? Um, I don't see a ton of nutcracker themed decor other than actual nutcrackers. So I love seeing the little sugar plum fairy and the rat. Now, moving forward from that, lots of fun wicker trees. And these trees with the fruits remind me a lot of Rococo decor. So that's definitely interesting as well. I'm loving those stuffed mousse. How cute are they? I'm not flipping over all of these items for prices just because there was a lot going on in the store and I really did not want to cause any further mess or stress for the employees. Um, I'm loving the differences in the plaids and of course being a ranch girl you know I love the jingle bells on the leather strap at like these for five dollars a piece. That's a great buy. Now, these signs for outside, I think, are absolutely fabulous as well. Um, I loved this uh, magnet for the fridge. I'd probably leave that up year-round. But um, again, with the truck and trailer outdoor heavyweight signs, my only beef with these is if you're going to have matching items, make sure that your trailer hitch and your truck hitch go the same direction. Now, this is a really fun door hanger for coming to $20 on the wagon wheel. I thought that one was really cute. They brought back the uh, farmhouse animals and Christmas wreaths decor. And this is a very classic collection. Um, again, talking about uh, some little phrases that are great. The tidings of comfort and joy on that little mini house. I thought that was really sweet coming out to, I think it was like $2.50 half off. Um, I'm loving the big metal signs as well. This let your heart be light with this barn I thought was absolutely stunning. I had to flip it over to see a price and it comes out half off to $10. That is a great price point that beats a lot of items you even find at Walmart. Now this one with the uh, kind of vintage ambery glass type uh, decor in it, I thought that one was really cute as well and definitely a different take and that could travel from November all the way through winter decor. That's not just a Christmassy item to me more gnomes y'all know I love my gnomes 
And these guys are so heavy. I love a weighted gnome. Um, half off, these are going to come out to $7.50. So that's pretty good price for their size. Lots of different versions. And look at these cute Christmas horses. These end up being $5 a piece. I absolutely love these guys. I thought that they were so, so cute for a display or in a village or something like that. Um, they brought back the Big Believe sign. I've seen that one for a few years now. I love this Woodsman Santa. I think he's really cute. And he ends up being, after discount, about 20 bucks. So he's not too bad. Um, I'm loving all the cowbell decor. And then I was going to flip this over to get a price for you. And they all started to fall. So we left that there. Really cute little Merry Christmas barn. Love that. And we have some fun other unique accents, the wheelbarrows, some more different types of trees, um, more grapevine angels and Christmas trees. I think you could DIY that by actually wrapping a plastic form with um, the t like burlap twine or burlap, not burlap twine, what am I saying? They brought back the lanterns. These are always really cute. Um, and I love being able to leave them on, especially in like a bookshelf to add a little bit of illuminative glow. They also brought back this fun snowman guy. Um, he reminds me of a lava lamp. I always think that he's really funny and the colors change inside of him as well. But my favorite is, you guessed it, the barn. How cute is this? I'm absolutely in love. They have a very similar one at Walmart though. So if you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you and you're interested and you don't want to worry about ordering it online, Walmart is carrying some very similar lantern items this year. Next up, we are in the thick of the kid-friendly Christmas. Um, they were just barely getting the Grinchmas out, so we left that on that side. But how cute are these elves? Now, unlike the Robert Stanley elves, these ones are definitely plush and a lot more child-friendly should a little person grab a hold of them. And um, they had some fun Christmas games. They had these funny uh, animated kickers. And they jingle. I thought that was hilarious. Um, and they had it in both the Santa legs and the elf legs. To match our elves, they also had Sleepy Santa with his teddy bear and his slippers. And I did check his price. Let's see if I got it on camera. Did I? I'm not sure. Sure did. Okay, so he is $35 half off. He comes to, I think, $17.50 off the top of my head. These little Christmas gnomes, while they're cute, you could definitely dupe that using Dollar Tree products. And this is where my eye got caught. Hello, patterns. My goodness. We know that leopard is a huge trend this year for fall, and it is coming in hot for Christmas. There are two versions of this tree, one that is a green background and one that is a red background, both with the leopard. And I started to get a headache looking at those, but I know that that would definitely fit some very ultra-modern decor. Also, how cute is this little workshop only elves sign? How adorable. That comes out to $5. It'd be so cute for introducing your elf this next season. Now this one, um, oh, I thought I got a close up of the Dear Santa sign. I did not, but that one I thought would be really cute for a photos with Santa type booth. Lots of cute outdoor signs, a variety of mixed metals and wood. This one I really liked, nice heavy weight, $20 comes off half to 10. That would be really fun for outdoor decor. I also really loved this cute one, the Santa stops here for milk and cookies. And this one also comes out to $10. Now, I know a lot of people like to decorate with only red and white, and um, I feel like sometimes we get burdened down with that color scheme into feeling like everything has to be candy themed, but I feel like they've done a really good job incorporating other elements. These little milk bottles with their Peace, Believe, Noel, and Joy signs were really cute. Um, coming out to two fifty. I also love all these little tiny um, signs. Dear Santa, my brother has the best sister in the world, I think is my favorite. I should get that for my brother. Um, and overall, I like how there's some elements of the candy cane striping in their red and white decor, but it's not all bakery, sweet shop, peppermint theme. There's a lot more going on in it. So I think that that's a really unique way to tie in the red and white color scheme. They have lots of cute little elf ornaments going on here. And that cute little tiny sign. And oh my gosh, wouldn't you have it? It's more gnomes. So they have multiple sizes of these uh, shelf sitter gnomes. The most expensive of which I believe is $8.99. The smaller one is $6.99. And look how cute these guys are together. Like they're so precious. You can make a whole little family. And then they had this big heavy one who's just a head behind them. 
and he is also 899. So that's how they all look together. Cute little gnome family. And you can see they have boxes and boxes and boxes to continue to unload. This golfing Santa made me laugh. I thought he was really fun for $30. He comes half off to $15. I feel like that's a really fair price point for him. Lots of throw blankets, lots of red trucks. And then I saw these. These kind of wood chunked looking or wood carved looking llamas, one laying down, one standing up. They are both $11.99. Super cute. But the dinos, oh, the dinos. $16 each. We've got a brontosaurus and a T-Rex. How fun would that be for a little person's room? Now, I know a lot of people go crazy over the Hobby Lobby's Grinch decor, but it was not out yet. So maybe we'll come back on another day to visit. These picks were really unique. I love these big light bulb picks. Those were definitely different. And oh, look, more displays. Now, this one is incorporating some of that mercury glass, this really fun vintage blue. This gnome's face fell off, so that was scary. I don't know what was going on there. Um, but again, we're kind of bringing in those vintage blues and mints and pinks and rust colors um, and bringing in some new elements with that as well. These little vintage deer ornaments remind me of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and I love that. This Bronco with the uh, tree on top, I thought that was really fun. It comes out to $10 once you apply the discount. And overall, I'm seeing a lot of new things in their vintage display. I love this pillow. It's $15. It reminds me of my cousin Jennifer. Hey, Jen, what's up? And I think that one is so cute. You need it for your house. Same with all these fun little peachy Christmas trees. And I love this little Yeti character they've brought out this year. We're going to see him a few more times in this video. Now that Winter Wonderland sign, the Let It Snow, these are all items that I would probably hold over for winter decor after Christmas. So if you're crazy like me and you decorate for every season, I guess keep that in mind. And by Mr. Christmas, we have this fun climbing Yeti man. Uh, it's $80 originally, but it comes out to $40. And I think that one was really fun. There's our little Yeti guy again next to this cute vintage deer. And I saw that this Christmas countdown is, this is incredible. I absolutely love this piece for $15. So, so, so cute. And even more bottle brush Christmas trees, all different varieties, and Santa riding a llama. Um, I also loved this huge metal. I think this is a yard stake sign of the Santa sleeping in the chair. I'm not totally sure. It's $30 though, so half off $15, I feel like is extremely fair for what that is. And I love that the trailer is coming back with this fun vintage blue. And again, Hobby Lobby coming in with the diverse characters this year. We love to see that everyone should feel included in a part of Christmas. No matter where you come from or who you are, we all deserve the love and joy that comes at this time of the year. And for our decor to reflect that, this is a community. So let's have everybody. So I'm loving this display. Super, super cute. Now, another chaotic aisle. These boxes really started to give me anxiety. Um, but look at all of these fun Christmas picks. Now, I will give you guys a huge hint um, or tip. If you don't see something you love in the individual picks in the Christmas aisle, leave the Christmas aisles, go to the other side of the store, go into the floral aisles, and look at their normal season metallic picks. Super cute, and a lot of them are half the price of these plus an additional half off. So keep that in mind. Now, I know a lot of people love the candy theme, and I don't decorate this theme personally, but I'm loving the knit elements that a lot of these items have this year. I'm loving the difference in textures. It's not just sequins, which I feel like we see year after year after year. So I'm loving items that feel different than things that we've seen in the past. I also love these metal picks. I thought these were really interesting. Excuse me, resin. What am I talking about? Um, there are some examples of the sequin ones from previous years. I'm also loving how the glam are toned down glams. They're not bright gold, bright silver. It's more of a pewter or a rose gold or just so subtle and absolutely stunning. I think that th these little balls of whatever form they are would be really cute tucked into a cold wreath. Um, this is more of the traditional candy type decor that we see and it's cute. Don't get me wrong. Um, I love how they continue to grow on trends they've had in past years. So if you love a trend, you can continue to grow your decor. Same with these Buffalo check um, kind of ornament ball picks. These are actually really helpful for if you're doing floral arrangements and you want to include ornaments in them. They're really easy to DIY too. Um, I just literally get a barbecue skewer and put it 
like take the metal part of an ornament off and put that on the skewer and wrap it with some floral tape. I also love how many sweater element ornaments they have. I think that's one of my favorite type of ornaments are the ones that feel very cozy. Um, seeing some beautiful black glam, but also look how sweet these felt poinsettias are. Absolutely stunning. I did not want to pull that apart to show you guys, but they do pull apart. They're not just little closed blossoms. Sorry, I had to take a sip of coffee. Okay, so you remember that uh, foam wreath we saw earlier? They have picks to match it, which I think is really, really helpful if you're trying to create an entire scape so that you have items that go together. Owls have been a huge trend in decor this year. However, I will caution people, owls, even though um, for some cultures, they're signs of good luck and wisdom. Other cultures, they are not. They are bad omens. So if you're ever creating something for someone of another culture, maybe check in with them before you pick items. Um, <laughs> I had a lady actually send me a bag of owls that someone put in her Christmas decor last year and she's Native American and that is a bad omen for them. And she asked if I wanted them and I told her I'd be happy to take them off her hands. So just, you know, be mindful of who we're creating things for. And I always recommend if you're making something as a gift, think of their taste before yours. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, these stockings this year are absolutely stunning. I love the faux fur and I love the uh, faux wool at the top of these ones. I think we're going to be replacing our stockings and I think that that burlap with the wool on top will be the ones that we end up selecting. But I will bring my whole team with me next time to to pick. That sloth stocking kind of made me anxious as did this huge pile of boxes. Oh my gosh, guys. I, I felt like I needed to pull out a box cutter and help these people stock the store. They only had six employees working. I felt so bad. Um, and so, you know, is anyone else's stores like Hobby Lobby really struggling with staffing? I mean, at this point, I feel like us crafters who are there all the time should just volunteer. But anyway, <laughs> maybe we'll get some store discounts. This black and white collection is absolutely stunning. I love all of these garlands ranging price from $12.99 to $14.99. And look at all these beautiful blues. These remind me a lot of Tiffany blues moving into more of a gunmetal gray and a lot of iridescent. This is a new take for me on glam. Again, I don't personally decorate in glam, but I do create things that are glam for clients. And this entire collection I felt like was so stunning. It would match so many of their home decor. And I could just see matching these super cute polar bears, six for $4 after discount. What a steal. Um, with these beautiful blues and silvers and whites and just creating something incredibly special. Now, these are new. These shatterproof icicles glow in the dark. And for $4, I am considering going and picking some up for our Christmas tree or for Little Miss's Christmas tree in her room. I think that that would be really fun. Now, moving out of that, we're moving into the glam and the girly. I'm loving the leopard. I know it's not for everybody, but Hobby Lobby always knocks out of the park with the leather accents. I'm also loving how much velvet and rich pinks and light oranges are in this collection. Absolutely stunning. I could just see doing a beautiful tree for a ballet studio or for a hair salon using all of these ornaments. This Merlot I think is the most beautiful color I've ever seen for Christmas ornaments. Absolutely stunning. And honestly guys, I think Hobby Lobby really has the best price. These jumbo ornaments are 10 for six, which is a great price. Um, and look at these beautiful little roses. I think these are actually beautiful if you are a headband maker um, or if you make uh, things for like festival wear. I think that those roses would be beautiful to accent with as well. Now, I'm loving how this series of garlands have the topes and the baby pinks with the little uh, mirrored balls. I thought that was really fun. And this side is so bright and cheery, so cute for a classroom. I love all the bells. And look how fun these are. I mean, this just screams whimsy. I would love to do an entire kid's playroom in these colors. These resin um, plastic nutcrackers are so fun. Those hanging ornaments remind me of the Grinch. I mean, this just screams childhood whimsy. More gnomes. I had to pick up the gnomes. Y'all already know. Um, but... You guys are about to see my favorite. Uh, look at these. Look how massive these guys are. So they come out to $15. They are for extra jumbo ornaments. They are shatterproof. We have the snowman. We have the elf. We have Santa. And we have this super cute Rudolph. 
absolutely stunning. Now we have some more traditionally colored, really fun, whimsical ornaments and picks. I am loving these picks that have multiple ornaments at the end of them. I think those would be great tree fillers. So I don't know, maybe we'll have to DIY some of those this season as well. Um, again, more of these really fun pops of color. I could see even doing like an art classroom tree with these. How fun would that be? Now, Hobby Lobby's ornaments overall, pretty fairly priced. I would say this year, comparable with Walmart. So if you're ever going back and forth between buying Walmart or Hobby Lobby, keep in mind Hobby Lobby has a discount that Walmart does not offer. Um, jumbo ornaments, you cannot be Hobby Lobby um, at all. These ones I thought were really unique and interesting with the kind of open terrarium style glow. And again, more candy themed decor, always a classic. Now here's our more classic glams with the bright, bright golds. Um, and then they quickly tied into the red and gold, which again, very traditional, very classic. But there's always room for some new takes. I love those ornament ball type ornament, ornament ball, wrapping bow type ornament balls. Um, and then this really rich green I was loving too. I did not see very many of those out. So maybe they'll be out my next visit. And then we also have our more traditional silver. Now moving on to the next aisle, we're going to have our buffalo check and our more farmhouse style ornaments, decor, and garlands. Um, this cowbell one I thought was so cute and the price on this guy came out to $6, um, half off $3, not too bad. Loved all these little white barns. This is very traditional farmhouse style decor. And I think if you like to do a flock tree with your burlap and your buffalo check, this is absolutely the aisle in the collection for you. Um, bring in some texture though. So let's talk about texture with farmhouse bringing in some little elements of color like that sage green is fantastic but these chenille balls the white and the green I think would be such fun pops of color and texture um, to really kind of break up the galvanize the burlap and the buffalo check same with bringing in elements of nature such as elements of fur like in these foxes these fun really rustic metal uh, deer I think those would be a really fun little accent piece as well to just break up kind of the mundane that matches the rest of your home decor and bring out something that's uniquely Christmas. So even though I personally don't really decorate with Buffalo check, I have a lot of great ideas for people who do, especially if you start to feel maybe a little bored. Um, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we have to rotate our ornaments out. Another thing, I love this for both the black and white and the red and black Buffalo check, bring in the big rusty looking uh, jingle bell type balls. I think that that is a different tone of brown to complement your burlaps, but definitely bring a richer element and a more woodsy farm rustic type vibe. Lots of super cute pre-made bows, lots of fun cinnamon stick and cranberry garlands, um, definitely some unique finds. And now, of course, the coup de grace of it all, the ornament aisle. Oh my gosh, every time I go down this aisle, I am just overwhelmed. Um, every Hobby Lobby has one of these unique ornaments, blown glass ornaments, variety of prices anywhere starting from $1.99 going up. Um, these are your treasured ornaments. These are your memory makers. And I love how they kind of group them in themes like foods, ocean life, toys, uh, pop culture, uh, work professions. And real quick, I'm going to show you two of my absolute favorites. I do not live near the ocean, but this hammerhead shark with the pearls was stunning, as was this super random stick of butter. I love this ornament because I cook with way too much butter. Uh, moving on. Here's more of our pop culture trends. We have the iPhones, we have the shoes, we have the unicorns and the rainbows and the cameras. Lots of animal decor. I loved those frogs. I thought those were so fun and different. And it brings a lot of visual interest to a tree when you're looking at someone's tree and you see a unique ornament, something you've never seen before. And you go, wait a minute, what's that? What's the story behind that? And they always have a story. Oh, we got this one in Disney World. Oh, we got this on a family vacation. Oh, my coworkers gave me this because of the pandemic year with the doctor code. Or, oh, I got knitting needles because I took up a new hobby. Or, oh, I have... Um, um, these Air Force themed ornaments for my brothers who couldn't be here this year or whatever the story might be, right? 
And that's what's wonderful about aisles and ornaments like these is that you find items that are so unique and so special and they make a beautiful gift, especially when given from the heart. And when I give an ornament like this, I like to give a little note of why I'm handing that off to the person and how it reminded me of them. Um, so I, and the thing is, is I've kept um, notes that I've received about that from other people in the past. Now, we just passed over some collections back there by Robert Stanley. Again, mercury glass is a huge trend this year, and I was just highlighting that really briefly. These ornaments, um, a lot of these, I call these the easy DIYers. You could easily DIY most of those if you were interested, but if you wanted just a quick thing, maybe throw on the top of a gift for someone, those are always fantastic as well. Now these, this side of the aisle I'd say is a lot more kid friendly. We have a lot of the fun plastic, resin, fabric, wood ornaments on this side versus the other side is mostly glass. Lots of cute elves and uh, sweets and treats and gingerbreads and we're going to see some characters from tv movies and books coming up here in just a second and um lots of those beautiful first christmas ornaments my niece will be having her first christmas this year and i'm actually going to be making her a special ornament um so i'll be doing a youtube video on that in the future but lots of just super cute little whimsical ornaments there's our tv and pop culture characters for all the kids the pj masks and the grinches and the little dinosaurs and bob ross <laughs> um funny how that guy is still making an impact we've got some baby yodas i don't know if you guys have watched the mandalorian but all the kids are all about it these last few years some beautiful teacher ornaments hero ornaments nurses and doctor ornaments um, for those special people who've been saving and changing lives in your life in the last two years um, and before but just especially in the last two years Lots of fun outdoor and rustic ornaments. I love that joy to the world globe. Um, lots of cute faith-based ornaments where they're not overwhelming. I, of course, love the farm ones off to the side. Um, the horse heads and the armadillo. <laughs> the cowboy boot Christmas tree. Now, here's some unique uh, snowflakes. Really beautiful tying into... <laughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry, my more rustic decor. Um, and speaking of rustic, the rustic barns, those fun uh, rusted mooses. What is the plural of mooses? Just moose? Um, and the cute little mushrooms. Um, I know cottage core has been a huge trend for a lot of uh, zillennials. And so I think that one is definitely a very popular one for you trendy grandparents looking for something to hand down to your Gen Z or grandkids. But overall, I'm loving seeing new representation and new items in this year's Christmas. Thank you so much for coming with me today. And real quick before I let you go, I'd like to invite you to our Country Christmas Shopping Market on November 27th and 28th in Douglas County, Nevada at the Douglas County Fairgrounds. If you are local to the Eastern Sierra and Western Nevada or even Northern California, definitely stop by. We're going to have lots of local artists and vendors and makers, and I will also have a booth of my own handmade products there. So I'd like to thank you all for joining this journey, and hopefully I'll see you there. Thanks.